Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, 2nd of the September 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar. Yesterday was very busy. How are we uh, going to trade today according to the Forex uh, calendar? Some data of course had been uh, released already like a gross domestic product from Switzerland, which was uh, way better than expected, uh, well, way better than the last time for the second quarter. Minus 0.4 was the previous reading. This reading is 1.8, which is a little bit worse than expected 1.9% number. So it's not, still not bad. Um, London session is full of the uh, market uh, data uh, released from the European Union, unemployment change from, from Spain, PPI number from uh, the Eurozone, but nothing really important. And during the New York session, uh, we have a job situation again ahead of uh, tomorrow's NFP payrolls. We have a challenger job card scheduled for release half past one. We have a unemployment claims, continuing claims scheduled for release half past two and trade balance data scheduled for release as well half past two. Uh, from Canada, we have a building permits and trade balance scheduled for release half past two. And we are going to finish the day with another bunch of the US data like Northern productivity, labor costs, factory orders and natural gas storage change. Uh, at seven o'clock PM, there's a FOMC member Rafael Bostic speech. So it looks like this might be a kind of a quiet date ahead of the NFP payrolls, but we should still take a look at some important uh, Forex pairs. So first one that we are going to take a look on is Euro to the Japanese Yen. Why? Because from this oversold levels around 127, 128, uh, as you can see here, we have a nice bounce above the 50 level of the neutral line, right? So this is that bounce. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, almost two weeks of advance towards the key level, key technical resistance, 130.64, 130.93. So this is the zone I have marked here with the um, uh, pink rectangle. We broken above 130.10, 129.63 already. So we are above the middle of this, of this channel. So let's just um, expand it. There you go. This is the expanded version of this channel. And uh, this, this bounce here looks very, very uh, promising. But first we need to break above the 130.93 level. The recent high is 130.38. So there's only 60 pips left for boost to hit the level and then possibly break out. But please pay attention to the upper channel line as well. It will provide additional resistance uh, for the price. So that's the euro to the Japanese yen. Now something completely different because um, uh, we, will t we have to take a look at oil. Um, excuse me, this is what I want to uh, take a look on. Um, crude oil uh, is lo located um, on could only has been trading inside of this range located between the level of 69.62 and 67.06. So we have a range trading after the bounce, right? So it looks like the key level is 69.62. It has not been violated yet and we are still trading uh, around this, um, uh, this level. There is still a chance for the market to break out higher, especially that um, uh, we have a breakout above the neutral level. Right now we are um, hovering around the level of 50 on the RSI, but we can uh, break to the, to the upside anytime uh, soon. Uh, right now, let's take a look at silver. So what is silver doing? And I can think about a trend line here after this this pin bar was done so what do we have here is that that uh, uh, trend line and this is another there you go upper upper trend line so we have a channel we have a channel uh, and the market is trading inside of this channel but this bounce is clearly 
corrective to me because the the momentum is barely oh it's not even over 50 it's just touching the level of the 50 the neutral level so in order for the momentum to expand to the upside towards the positive territory and in order to uh bulls uh, to control over this market we need to break above 24.44 or 24.64 which are the key technical resistance levels for um for silver and this th this technical resistance levels must be violated pretty uh, pretty soon of course the key technical support 21.84 is still has not been hit but as i said if the market will not break above 24.64 we might have a reversal momentum will go back into the negative territory bears will counter attack the recent uh bullish attempt to rally we will break below the uh, level of 2348 which is the technical support right now and then there is the next target 21.84 so it's worth to keep an eye on this on this market what is s p 500 doing uh in the form of the s and spx index what do we have here we have another higher high the recent high is 4542 points so we keep going higher uh, on the s p 500 nothing so far has stopped the market from advancing from advancing uh higher the recent correction was only 2.9 uh, percent then of course there was a bounce so it doesn't actually doesn't actually matter how far we go as far as these corrections are no are in this kind of a range 4.82 percent 3.59 percent 2.9 percent so those correction are, uh, corrections are getting smaller and it's a typical wave that we can spot here on this on this market this is how it goes it's a advanced correction advance wavy correction advance correction and so on and so on this is so far unstoppable market so there is no point right now of uh, playing against it we play according to the rule the trend is your friend and we keep getting new highs on s p 500 even on a broader picture right really really like uh like a two or three years back this is bullish very 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 bullish it doesn't look like this market wants to stop for now so as long as we are making higher highs higher lows the most rational uh, thing to do is to follow the trend the trend is up trend is your friend so s p 500 doesn't matter how much you don't want it is still going up this is the covid decline here this is the covid decline we are way ahead we are way above we are way higher than this decline from uh from the february and march 2020 acute so uh well take take it or leave it this is the situation on s p 500 we are we are even trading above our, our, my my uh, main channel ascending channel we are just bouncing from this channel up and up and up uh, we go so um what's what's the la last one the last one i think we should take a look at the bitcoin what is bitcoin doing and finally bitcoin is gathering some momentum and this consolidation might be completed because we have nice two candles well this is a daily time frame candle so it might not be uh, completed yet but uh, if we break above the recent high on the 25th of the august uh 50,437 that's the high then of course we will go way 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 above this level the next target uh, technical target from the past would be 59528 which is well kind of a substantial market rally so please pay attention to the bitcoin it still wants to go wants to go higher there is virtually nothing between this level and the last high 
okay so as long as we uh, trade above the level of uh, 46,177 uh, which is the low of this correction there is still a chance for the market to hit at least 59,528 dollars so maybe this um, move up uh, started has just started um, uh, today and we are waiting for this high to be taken off broken violated and then for the market um, uh, to continue the move towards fifty nine thousand five hundred and twenty eight dollars that's everything for me for today thank you very much uh, for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys tomorrow for the pre nfp payrolls technical analysis of most important currency uh, pairs. So take care and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.